all right. Um, so a few people have asked for a bit of a, a walk around, I guess, on this, um, this what I'm calling the very depth. So in short, it, all it does is, is it pulls up irrigation furrows to the correct depth. We're not concentrating on the height of the hill, but more of a focus on the depth and the grade of the furrow itself. Why? Doing it to ensure our water runs more evenly. Uh, there's less <coughs> variation in height as the water goes through the field. Um, all that's aimed at in improving efficiency. But I want to say straight up this is not and will not and never will be used and shouldn't be used as a replacement for proper field levelling. Field levelling is the correct way and the best way so far for management of water in your field. Now when I say management of water I don't just mean irrigation, I mean when it rains, the capture of the water, the management of where it flows. This rig won't do that. All this will do is dig the depth of the furrow to the correct depth and grade that you set it at. Nothing more. Don't think it'll ever replace a bucket for water management, because it won't. Righto, so basically it's a parallelogram, hydraulically controlled, um, through the tractor uh, with eye grade then we enhanced it with terracotta so that's basically it nothing that you can't buy off the shelf today there's a few custom parts to make it function but that's it everything else anyone with a, a lathe a welder a grinder um, some hydraulic knowledge, yep, and can sort it out. So, yeah. So, yeah, um, running John Deere, simple reason is we run it here. Technically, you could use this with any, any leveling system, laser even, if you really wanted to. So, yeah, it's, it's doable with everything. Um, I guess, you know, it was built by us here it wasn't built in a factory um, it was made up out of scrap that we had you know the bars they were laying in a field in the grass you know in, in what, what I call the dump um, the furrows the clamps all of that that was all on a pallet in the pallet racking um, these stabilizer discs they're off a cultivator that, that was pulled apart and I don't think it would be used for at least five years uh, they were just laying in the grass like uh, it's all just made up of bits so yeah I bought some new items I won't lie I bought some um, spreader beams um, and the quick hitch uh, I bought them from Gesner in Toowoomba um, this is these are Gesner bars I really like the Gesner product I think it's good strong product so that's why um, I went with Gesner for most of this stuff. So that's basically a quick overview of it. Um, we'll just have a bit of a, a bit more of a closer look at it. All right, as you can see, um, Gesner depth wheel controls the height of the front bar. And then, yeah, Gesner hitch, nothing happening here. It's all just normal three-point linkage it's, there's no magic no voodoo um, everything is Gesner pretty well uh, apart from a few other little pieces standard um, I've got the eye grade application control mounted on the bar so that I can use this on any of our tractors it's not going to be designated for just one tractor we have a lot of stuff going on here I can't afford to tie one tractor up just for this if I need to use this tractor for something else so be it um, yeah, the depth wheels themselves, you know, they're not great. Like we had, we, we fixed them. There's nothing, you know, new sort of bought, you know, we just had to 
make do with what we had. I didn't want to spend any money on something that might not have worked. It's rough, that's for sure. It doesn't look pretty, but it does a good job. Um, the magic happens in there. That's the parallelogram. There's the hydraulic ram, you can see those. Um, you know, when I say, you know, we, we had to make bits and pieces, we did. So, made all that up. That's where the top of the hydraulics mount. Down in here, yeah, all the hydraulics down through there. Stabilise this, like I said, they're rough, ready. They're not strong, but they're doing the job. Yeah. Check out the hinges and, and the mounts here. They're, they're flogged out and pretty average. Um, the receiver, pretty important to note too. If you ever use a GPS receiver on an implement, you'll see I've got these little white rubber mounts up under that receiver, mounted between the, the mounting plate and another mounting plate. You need that for receivers, GPS receivers, the plastic will shake and break on most of the John Deere ones. Um, they're not designed for, for rugged use technically. So yeah, just, just make sure you do that. Um, yeah, you know, these stabilise discs, they're not going to stay on here forever. I hope, hopefully I'll get the budget to, um, to put some steerable ones on there. That's my next, my next thing for this is steerable axles, so, uh, colders. So I'll get the the correct depth and the correct horizontal position left and right. Um, so this this track machines it's just a 410 RT and um, it's the same on this side there's no magic no voodoo. Now people are going to say oh you don't have any center busting shanks or anything like that. No I don't. Why? It's a firing up bar it's not a center buster. <clears throat> the ground has to be prepared properly for this to work, you know, I'm not going to try and pull up hills in something that's back-to-back -back cotton. That just this won't do it. It's not designed for that. It's a it's a scalpel, not a sledgehammer. Let's put it that way. It's it's a precision implement. Doesn't look like it, but that's what it is. Just two hydraulic rams is enough. Um, there's no voodoo there. It's just the same sort of system that a, a bucket would use. With, with the height control, um, yeah, no, there's no voodoo in any of it. So I guess uh, we'll go and fire up inside and show you the controls. Okay, so in all our tractors we run two John Deere displays, we run extended monitor up there, we run your normal armrest Gen 4, and with this one, get the camera right here, we've got the terracotta tablet. Uh, as you can see, it's just standard eye grade there. You know, nothing fancy. Um, no voodoo, standard program that everybody can get, everybody can use. It's nothing special for us. That's where the magic happens, um, in the terracotta. Um, so what we're doing is we're using um, the last pass previous to this for our uh, elevation data. And then we send that away to get, um, to get, To get processed, sorry, um, doing two things at once. I can't multitask, I'm dumb. So, we're using a John Deere 9RX to collect the data, and we're traveling no more than 10 kilometers per hour. Um, why the 9RX? It's big, it's heavy, it floats across the top of the soil, it's on tracks. It's slow, we're doing slow work with it. Um, try and make the data you know, more consistent, better. Um, so the maps, right? Get the maps produced by uh, Civil Ag Design or CAD. Um, we send that off to, to Jay and his team, and Jay creates the cut film map for the for the machine. And um, 
that's where the magic happens. That that's it. There's nothing more to it. So might wrap it up. If there's any questions or comments, shoot us a message. Um, yeah, happy to hear what everyone's got to say if they've got something to say about it.